Hey guys, welcome to the Bourbon Earring Podcast. I'm your host, Austin. Today, we're talking rye. This is episode three of my new study sessions series on the basics of whiskey. We went through whiskey, we went through bourbon, and now we're here to rye. And I'm considering rye American rye. Different countries have different definitions of rye. Uh, Canada, for one, has a lot of rye whiskeys that their definition may or may not follow the American definition. It's going to be a short episode. Rye is really simple. It is at least, made the mash bill is at least 51% rye. It could be 49% something else, but it's at least 51% rye. That's it. Uh, it needs to be made in America to be American rye, but that's it. It is whiskey. Rye is a grain, so it, it falls into the whiskey category. It, too, can be a straight rye for being at least two years old or if it's non-age stated at least four years old and you can have the state designation if it's made in Kentucky it'd be a Kentucky straight rye again I'm going to do a for, uh, an episode with more details on labeling but basically that's what rye is real quick real simple all right y'all let's get to a review Hey guys, Austin here with Bourboneering to talk about Prestige Decanters. Uh, Prestige is where I get my whiskey tasting glasses for all my podcasts. Um, I do all my reviews with these glasses. They're a beautiful tulip shape. Um, They also have a lot of fun rocks glasses and things like that, as well as beautiful decanters like their name suggests. Uh, Use the link in uh, the description below and use promo code BOURBONEER, and you can get 8% off your order at Prestige. It helps the show out, it helps you out, and helps uh, them out. So check them out when you get a chance, and thanks for listening. All right, guys, it's time for our review. Today I'm reviewing a rye, obviously. I am reviewing Willet Family Estate Small Batch Rye. It is a straight rye whiskey. This particular release is 54.5% alcohol, which is 109 proof. This is one of my favorite rides, and I've reviewed it a few times on the show now. And it's not very characteristic of a of a rye, but I love reviewing it because it has the craziest notes to me. I get on the nose, right away I get a strong smell of a bar of Dove soap, and I love it. It's... It's not soapy. It's not off-putting to me. It's a great note. But I get made fun of so much because no one else gets that note. Now, I've, I've switched a couple people to my side of thinking. Some people compare it to like a cilantro or a uh, kind of herb, you know, soapy-ish herb. And I, get, I see where they're coming from, but it's dove soap to me. Now, on the taste... I get some classic kind of spearminty notes, rye notes, candy rye notes. Very sweet, very good. This time around, I got a Tootsie Roll note. Like a, just, I was eating a Tootsie Roll. Not super chocolatey or anything, but that kind of, that kind of flavor from a Tootsie Roll. Not the chocolate, but the, I don't even know, maybe caramel, but not really. Just the Tootsie Roll flavor. I don't know. That's what I get out of them this time. Finish is great. This is a fantastic bottle of rye. In fact, I'm bottling it down tonight. R.I.P. But I have to give it a four. Four point. I'm giving it a four point five. This is a fantastic bottle of whiskey. It's a great rye. Any any of these Willet releases, they're interesting. If you get your hands on them for a reasonable price, grab it. It's awesome. Now they can be pricey, especially the six year and above can go for hundreds of dollars. So be careful with that. Don't let somebody gouge you. All right, guys, thanks for listening. I know this one's real, real short. Rye is pretty straightforward. So if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Cheers. Thanks for listening, guys. If you enjoyed the podcast, make sure you subscribe on whichever player you're using. Leave a comment and leave a five-star review if you can. Once you've done that, go follow me on Instagram at Bourboneering or on Twitter at nbourbon or go like our Facebook page, uh, Bourboneering. All this, as well as my Prestige Decanter affiliate link and a link to sign up for a weekly newsletter are all below. Thanks for listening, everybody. Cheers.